Thanksgiving is over, and as we Aww. all adjust to the horror of our new waistlines, <laughs> um, it's time for holiday shoppers to get out there for Black Friday. I thought you were on your Peloton right after no, burning off no, that turkey. They, remember, it, it didn't work because oh, right. so many people were trying to ride. They overloaded the system. Yeah. Yes. Well, fortunately for you, you can walk it off uh, inside true. the stores. They will be open early. They are open right now for the biggest shopping day of the year. And we're going to head over to Elijah Westbrook. He is now inside Macy's flagship location in Herald Square. Uh, that's actually where yesterday's parade came to a close. It's like a, a parade's going on inside there, Elijah. Uh, essentially, it feels like a good morning to you, Doug and Natalie. Yeah, we were actually one of the uh, first people inside the store watching among the first customers to make their way inside the Macy's here in Howard Square. I would say about now, at this point, I mean, we're looking at close to a thousand people who are actually made their way inside the Macy's here. Go ahead and take a look. So this is what you'll see when you first walk in. Again, uh, if you're familiar with this uh, particular Macy's, it's a rather big one. So of course, it doesn't look like there's a, about a thousand people here. But I mean, a great deal of folks have been making their way in. Now, if you missed out on all the action right at the top of six, go ahead and take a look. These were, again, uh, some of the first customers to make their way in. They will be part of the 130 million uh, who are projected to shop today. You know, we have the opportunity to speak with uh, people who traveled from places like uh, Frankfurt, Germany, even Dubai, to snag on some of these great deals. And, of course, we had to chat with them to see how their days are panning out and the plan of attack they hope to execute. Uh, tips for people who are supposed to be coming on out today. Any advice you want to give them about, you know, Black Friday shopping? And sure, what? have your coffee before you leave because there's no coffee shops open right now and I'm dying for one. We always <laughs> usually do have a plan, but we usually have the paper by like five in the morning. Yeah. yeah, then we go through the paper. <laughs> All righty. So keep in mind, you know, experts say the prices of some big ticket items like a new TV are significantly cheaper this year than decades ago. So that's, of course, a big draw for many. Now, if you can't make it today, that's OK. You know, other big retail days coming up are Small Business Saturday and Cyber Monday. But if you're taking us back out here live, uh, you may have noticed just over the last few years in person shopping on Black Friday. You know, it has simmered down just a bit, and that's because of the rise in online shopping. But nonetheless, certainly expect a decent sized crowd wherever you go today. We are seeing that crowd uh, right now inside the Macy's here in Herald Square. Doug and Natalie, I haven't forgotten about you. Just been a little busy trying to get some interviews, but I will see if I can grab some um, items on the list that you were mentioning before. You said what? Uh, Natalie, makeup, and then I think, Doug, you were saying possibly some jewelry and electronics. Oh, I want for the big, I want TVs. I want those, the, the most expensive. Oh, you want the TV? Okay. Yeah, just uh, the most expensive yeah, items. Yeah, don't let, uh, try not to <laughs> Let work get in the way, Elijah, of you taking care of us, my friend. Thank you. We appreciate it. So, uh, Elijah mentioned this. 